from all around you long. I'm here to tell you how football is strong. We're the best. Yeah. Welcome back, and yes, the under 18s action coming up this morning again with two more rounds to go. And the big fella Wales getting very, very excited because his boys are out there this morning again after actually giving North Geelong a bit of a scare last week after the half time. But uh, Dale, tell us all what's going on in the under 18s today. Yes, uh, this morning we take on Invalide, and as I said, Dick, in not too a short distant time. So we've got to make sure everything goes smoothly here this morning and uh, get out there very quickly. But last week, games, some good games. Bannockburn up till half time, we're doing well against North Geelong, but after half time, one goal, two, you're not going to win many games of football. But North Geelong finished 12, 6, 78. And they defeated Bannockburn 6 9 45. Better players, sorry, goal kickers for the North Geelong side. Miller got five, didn't spend all the time on the ground, had a bit of a knee problem. Eels with two. Gaspar, Phillips, Paramanov, McGregor, and Martinu. Guess who the best player was? Paramanov, you beauty! Oh, hey. Jeez, I reckon I've heard that about you, Paramanov! I don't know I've heard his name Eels. all morning. <laughs> Trevillo, Podner, and Miller. I tell you what, Dick, getting signed up, good player. Oh, I've heard that. <laughs> I've heard that. <laughs> Manic Burn goal kickers Tykewin with three Howling and Hickledon one, uh, Got one goal Better players there Maguire Tykewin Pasala Howling and Cross I reckon I know these guys For their first name yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The other game was on Sunday And Inverley Just had the uh, measure Of the Werribee side And unfortunately Another Werribee side Will bite the dust For season 2011 11-10-76 Inverley Defeated Werribee 7-7-49 seven, Goal kickers For the Inverley side Thomas Dunstan McLean And Perrett with two Platt, Alford and Cations won. Better players there, Grozdanovsky, Gillett, Pender, Dunstan, Platt and Lotting. And for the Rabbi side, Harvey, three, Hicks, two, Clough and Wilson with one. Better players there, Hicks, Blade, Ryan, Wilson, Harvey and Novodek. So we said during the week, the Ray Atridge medal. Oh. Guess who won that? I've got a fair idea. <laughs> Darcy Eels. Yeah, Darcy. <laughs> North Geelong I, wasn't I, putting the paper. We we're all up with the, what's going on in junior footy. Well, that's good. Somebody else told me that this morning too. Darcy Eels, good to get him signed up at North Geelong. Can play a bit of footy. I think he might have played a senior game this year. Shane Dillon was runner-up with Billy Cation. Now, Shane Dillon, we missed two games and he played three senior games. Billy Cation's for Invalee. Missed six games through buys and forfeits. So another good effort from Billy Cation. Probably the unlucky one of the lot, actually. No relation to Grubby? No. Oh, no. Well, well, no. You I, well, that. I don't think so. No, no, definitely no. not. Okay. So that's where it stands at the moment. But uh, at the said, not too far away. Big game in Inverley and Bannockburn. Winner through to North Geelong. And it should be a good contest as it has been over the last three or four years. And the Magpies did give you a bit of a fright, didn't they, Dale, last weekend? You got a yeah, little bit of an anxious moment. Yeah, they no, no, I'm sorry. You gave the Magpies a fright, I should yeah, say. Yeah, we did. Up to yeah. half time, we looked pretty good. But uh, right. they one goal, two after half time. Dick, you're not going to win many games of football. Exactly. Look at no. you jumping on the Magpie bandwagon. No, that's You're right. unbelievable. I'm going along all right at Look the moment, Ray Rodeo. I don't even know who plays out there apart from Paramanov, because we were mentioning 30 times this morning. Blake Miller. Because he kicked 120 games. He's a relation. Darcy Eels. Because <laughs> he's won the Whitley, the Etridge medal. <laughs> oh, Eddie, what do you want me to name? Come I can on, just keep rattling him off. out there? No, I'm going to talk to Dale what's, now, what's actually, about that reserves name? game. What's Podner's first name? <laughs> that, 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 that is... God, Potto. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Potto. Now, Dale, tell us a bit. What's happening with reserves, mate? Invalee in the reserves. Will they playing Anarchy today? Yes, should be a good game of football, yeah. actually. Uh, Invalee, it's the last year, didn't win a game of football. This year, they've come up and made themselves into finals and yep. progressed pretty nicely through it. Anarchy, uh, probably the side that uh, surprised everybody for 16 or 17 rounds, hadn't lost a game. Lost two or three on end and bottom themselves back on track last weekend. And have done pretty well also. So it'll be good to see a clash of two country sides playing in that final. They go through to play the winner, which was East Geelong the week mm. before. So East Geelong have got some uh, good talent and good depth out there at the club. So they'll be also pretty good the following year. Yep. But in Valley, three sides in Dick for a you know, small country town. Sensational effort, and uh, their senior side also would be a big chance against East Geelong. Well, if all three get through to the grand final next week, you can bet Inverley will close. It probably will. I think the pub's already closed, haven't it? It is, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably a good time to have an open. Get, I'd get something out the back oh, for wouldn't sure. You, wouldn't you? Yeah, no, just open up one. something just to get a licence and uh, pour a few grogs out the back. Don't worry about that. If you don't think it will happen and the Hawks won three flags, you can shut the town down for weeks. It'll be unbelievable out there. Might go back myself. Yeah, we might even go back and just uh, be part of the scene, exactly, mate. No worries. Can you drive me? I'm going to need a driver. <laughs> now, a little bit of indulgence here from our floor manager. The Belmont Lions, folks, are going on very nicely in the kids. The under 16, best and fairest, is Michael Harrison for the Belmont Lions. Well done, Michael. Excellent. And runner up. 
another Belmont Lions champion in Heath Walsh. So to Michael and Heath, well done there, guys. That's fantastic. And continuing on with the Belmont Lions segment. Good luck to the Belmont <laughs> Lions under 14s and under 16s. And we'll see Cryonetic under 14s in the grand finals tomorrow morning at Lara. Fantastic. Get out there tomorrow and watch junior footy. You'll love every single minute of it. Fantastic. Now, Whitley Middle, a couple of weeks ago, it was announced the GDFL Team of the Year. Now, you blokes, I know you had a big part of it. Well, who are you waving to? <laughs> no, just trying to... Uh, One of your old girlfriends walking to the studio. I, there, I don't know. Like, I, I thought I knew her, but... <laughs> yeah, it, I know you had a lot to do with this GDFL Team of the Year, and we'll just go through it very quickly, just for people at home dying to know who it is. Corey Collins from Anarchy, Brent Lee, Ling of Inverlee, and Stephen O'Rourke, Belpo still. On the halfback line, David Leach, Werribee Central, Steve Rickards, Anarchy, Ross Dillon from Bannockburn. In the centres, David Peel, Inverlee, Stephen McLeod, Thompson and Travel, Travis Ursland from Belpost Hill. On the half forward line is Keel, Robin Momanovic. No surprise there, Belpost Hill. Derek Fitzsimmons, North Geelong, Magpies. On the forward line, Paul Briggy, the full forward from North Geelong. Lucas Murphy, the Whitley medalist from East Geelong. Kicking well over 100 goals this year. And Luke Edmondson from East Geelong. In the rucks, Nathan Lovell, Chris Morland. Rover Dean Muir from Inverloon. Didn't he play a great game on Saturday? or Sunday, fantastic indeed. Interchange, James Hubens from Inverlee, Bo McNamara, Brendan Chuggalug and Brent Swinnerton from the North Geelong Magpies. Fantastic. What do you want to say about that, that team of the year, mate? I you don't want to do with it. Well, I don't want to say a lot about it. I, as I said, it's uh, open for uh, in discussion, I suppose. As I said, you go through and you'll be able to pick another side by means and pick another 22 players and have another side that will be equally competitive as that side in the paper there. So uh, I've got no problem with that side. If I could coach that side on a weekly basis, I'd be more than happy to, Dick. Well, so that's not an interleague side, Jason, but oh, one of these... Oh, it was. Well, I'm just saying, wouldn't it be great for that Ooh. side to actually go out and actually have a crack at someone at a side like that? Could I mean, you imagine the forward line? Jovanovic, Murphy and Briggy. Imagine that. Could you imagine those three forwards? They've kicked 180 and... 50 goals between them. They've kicked 230 goals between them. Imagine if they were in uh, mm. in the one forward line. So, no, it's a pretty good team. Dale's done well. <laughs> <laughs> I'd actually forgotten my side. That was Jason's side. But, oh, yeah, come on. but I, I've made a few alterations to it. But I, look, as I said, it, you, there'll, be, there'll be honestly guys from different clubs that would be able to get into that side and, uh, and probably deserve to be in that side. But that's what we felt was their better side at this particular stage. And... Uh, I don't know what else you can say, Dick. It's, it's, it's up for... Well, I suppose the other thing, too, is that out of this team, there's plenty of blokes playing either last weekend or this weekend... Or who, through final football. Yeah, who have, who have played pretty well. Actually, most of them. Yeah, only the North Geelong boys. I don't know what happened there, Dick. Yeah. Well, I yeah, must have had a bit of influence. <laughs> Where's North Geelong? Where's Paramanov? He he'll there. be there next year. Oh, don't worry about that. Darcy Eels will be there next year. What's In... Podder's first name again? Podder. Yeah, good work. Yeah, I've got them all done. Don't you worry about that. I know all the North Geelong boys. I'm very proud of them indeed. I'll be in the grand final next week. Down the road. Oh! Fantastic. Oh, just, what? just burn your co-host. Well, don't worry about it. Belmont, if the, so, right, the <clears> Belmont <throat> Lions get a, can put half their show together like that. The good old, there we are, Channel 31. We're going to take a break. And quickly, we'll mention the fact... <laughs> he wants you to mention Quickly, that. we'll mention that we're going to have the big telecast of the grand final next Saturday. We'll talk more about that after the break. Back after this.